What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Uh, he know watching another video. Now you know it's two two different fight cards that come on Saturday. It's the Berto Porter card, and then it's the top rank stream card. Um, if you haven't been hip to news, top rank basically, um, you know, streams pay per view now because they can't find a platform for their fights. Because a lot of them just act like PBC is the devil, even though him and Al are supposedly be on working terms. And Al probably would have put this card on PBC, a nice exposure. Um, Headliner by Oscar Valdez versus Miguel Moraga. Um, you got Matt, Jesse Macedonia on here who just beat Nonito Donaire in a title defense cakewalk of a fight. But I'm not mad at him. His first defense, I'm not mad at him. He had a close to fight with uh, Nonito Donaire. Close fight. I think he won, though. Closer than what they indicated. Gilberto Ramirez versus Mac Bursack. Mac Bursack is a solid fighter. Um, probably a C fighter, but, you know, Ramirez coming off the long layoff and injury. He, he needs to stay busy. Um, but Oscar Valdez versus Miguel Moraga. Um, that's, a, that's a hell of a fight right there. Moraga is a good knockout puncher. You know, Vasquez is a good offensive fighter. Um, great boxer. And, you know, supposed to be the future of the division. Um, look forward to him fighting. Uh, if he gets past him, fighting Gary Russell. And trying to unify because Gary Russell was already talking retirement. Um, so I want to see Oscar do all that to get that fight under his belt. But he's a very talented kid. And the main event is, is, is pretty good. You know what I mean? A good knockout puncher versus not the knockout puncher. Um, it won't disappoint. But for the price, I don't know what it's cost. I don't know if it's reduced at $30, $20, $40, $50. But, uh, but at the price, why would you pay this when you get free boxing, Berto? Well, not free, well, Showtime, you know, if you have that uh, subscription. But, um, you know, I don't know. You know, really don't. Hmm. I don't I don't know about ordering this fight, but um Tiz is on, you know. But um uh, you got some exciting fighters on here. Uh uh Shakur Stevenson. Shakur, Shakur Stevenson's gonna be making his a debut. He was actually gonna make the debut with, on Terrence Crawford card when Terrence Crawford was supposed to fight in Newark, New Jersey. Um I think it was May. May twentieth, I think he was supposed to have that fight slot card. Uh I guess they when they got Felix Diaz, um they changed it to the, um, he's going to be fighting at Madison Square Garden. And Shakur Stevenson was going to make his debut on HBO on that card. But now, um, it seems like Bob Arum, with his methodical genius, is going to make Shakur Stevens' uh, fans in his hometown pay pay-per-view to see him make his debut, which is, you know, total horseshit. This guy should be fighting at least on HBO, really on free TV. Um, remember Al Heyman and Rasheed Warner, all of them came out. Marcus Brown, all of them came out. Um, he... Did a whole show box card, I think, to showcase their talents. But you know how Bob Arum is. Get every dime, you know, greedy. But on a, all these guys have superstar potential. Um, Jesse Macedonia is a, is a good, strong fighter. Um, you know, Oscar Valdez is probably, you know, the most talented out the group and probably has the highest ceiling. But, you know, Gilberto Ramirez, you know, he he's right there, neck and neck. But Shakur Stevenson is, is who they want to be the biggest star. That's who they're going to invest their money in. Um, they're already talking about him fighting Michael Colon down the line. Uh, Michael Colon is a solid fighter. Um, and um, that's the fight they're already trying to build up early in their career. I remember Bob Aaron was trying to build up, you know, Floyd. Well, they, Floyd was trying to fight Miguel Cotto. And Cotto showed that he wasn't ready because he was getting knocked down in the chin. And uh, they was protecting Cotto from Floyd. So can we have a case of this with Michael Colon and Shakur Stevenson if they saw some vulnerabilities where they'd be reluctant to put them in there because they both have cash cow um on potential? You know how you know those guys do these boys. They they make all these fights, oh you're Gamboa versus Juan Ma Lopez, and then they just you know, they just range it out where the point is the fight doesn't matter anymore, one loses and you know, I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? But Gilberto Ramirez is on a on a um crusade to fight triple G. He feels confident, top rank wants to put him in there. Um, I feel confident they can beat him, but he's going to get a few more fights because Triple G probably is going to fight Canelo and get comfortable. Um, enjoy a vacation if he wins, um, and we'll see. Uh, but this fight card is, you know, it's solid. You know, the main event, Oscar Valdez versus knockout artist Miguel Moraga. Um, Shakur Stevenson, you know, two good fights on there, making his debut. So you're going to want to tune in. I mean, stream it. I don't know about paying for it, but find a way. We gone.